Hi folks, today's video is going to focus on the new concealed carry purses. So if you're new to concealed carry, which I know a lot of our viewers are, uh, they, they've never carried before in public. They might be, you might be very familiar with firearms. You might be very comfortable around firearms, but you've never actually carried before. So today's video is going to focus on that comfort level of carrying for the first time because some people have said to me, sent me messages or made comments that they don't feel all that comfortable carrying. They're a little nervous about carrying and some people have asked me about carrying around in the chamber uh, if I recommend that they carry around in the chamber. And of course, I've done a whole video on this and my answer to that is yes, I do recommend you carry around in the chamber. But today I want to focus on new concealed carry person and the comfort level and will in my opinion will that get better or not as time goes on so let's get into it there are two ways to overcome feeling uncomfortable or uneasy concealed carrying in my opinion number one carry as much as you can carry all the time each day you carry, you will get more comfortable doing it. It's like anything else. The second way is to get additional training. We're going to get into that in the video. The first thing I want to say is this is a members only priority viewing video. So we do appreciate members, people joining the channel for channel membership. And we will have uh, most of our videos will be uh priority viewing for members so for uh, you'll have first viewing priority and some of the content that we put out will be for members only we do appreciate our members just had to get that out there folks if you're not a member consider uh, joining and I'll put a link in the description so you can see the perks uh, if you're interested so let's get into this now people have said to me they don't feel comfortable carrying they're, they're nervous or you know they think about it all the time oh geez I'm carrying this gun so not to minimize, not to downplay the severity of it. It is a gun we're talking about. It's serious when you pull the trigger, it goes bang usually. So it, it's serious stuff, but you will, you do need to be, and this is all my opinion, of course, it's understandable to me that you're going to be a little nervous carrying a gun in public if you've never carried a gun before. So I have two recommendations for you if you're nervous about it. And you don't feel quite right about it now you don't have to do it of course it's a choice right you don't have to do it and i know retired police officers that don't carry not because they're nervous but because of liability so it's it's a choice it's a personal choice so if you do decide that i do you know you say to yourself i do want to carry now how am i going to deal with this uh, this feeling of nervousness so if you're in that position this is what i think i think number one over time, you will get used to it. And I've said this before. I've been carrying for almost 30 years. I was a trooper for 25 years. And I carried every day of my life as a trooper because we were required to, even off duty. And then when I retired, I still carry pretty much every day wherever I go. To me, it's like my cell phone, my wallet, my keys. I grab it before I leave the house. I go into the safe. I, I take out my gun. And... If I don't have it, if I leave the house and I don't have one of those things, you know, when you're driving, all of a sudden you read, oh, I forgot my cell phone or I forgot my wallet or I have to turn around. I forgot this package. So if I don't have it on me, if it's not on my person. I feel like something's missing. And if you carry it long enough, that's what's going to happen to you. Now, when it is on my person and I'm out and about doing things, I don't even think about it. Every so often I do feel for it. I do reach down and I will, you know, just touch the side where it is and, and make sure, hey, well, there it is. I want to make sure it's still in place, right? I want to make sure it hasn't moved or shifted. Proper holster, secure properly to your body. It shouldn't move much. And if it does, then you just, you know, you check it every so often. You make sure and you reposition if you need to. You carry it safely and you practice firearm safety at all times. So when you're taking it off your person, when you're putting it back on your person, if you're going to a place where you have to, you can't take your, your gun and you have to unload it and put it in a safe in your car. In New Jersey, you can't leave a loaded firearm in your vehicle, even if it's locked up. You have to unload it, which sounds ridiculous in some cases because you're going to have people unloading and loading in their cars when uh, sometimes it's not necessary in my opinion, but that's the new law. So there's, you have to do that properly. You have to pro practice safe firearm 
uh, handling at all times. So if you do that day in and day out and don't take shortcuts, do everything the same way safely every time you're carrying and that over and over again and carrying it each day will get you more adjusted and you will feel more comfortable carrying. Now the other thing, the second thing you can do is to get more training. First of all, you should go to the range on a regular basis anyway. The more you shoot, the more comfortable you get. You know, and you might have qualified for your concealed carry and you say, oh, you know, I qualified, I'm good to go till two years from now when I have to, you know, reapply for my recertification. Go to the range more frequently, get additional training, get a firearms instructor and get additional training. So if you've never had a uh, training where you're sitting down or lying down or, uh, you know, sitting in a car, some instructors will, you, you can take courses where you can actually fire your gun from a vehicle. I think that the more training you have, the more comfortable you'll feel just around firearms, handling firearms and carrying firearms. So there you have it, folks. I think that if you're new to concealed carry and you're still feeling uncomfortable, the more you carry, number one, uh, I think the easier it will be for you to carry as time goes on. Number two, you can always get additional training, which is never a bad idea. I always advocate additional training uh, for people to carry firearms. And if you check the link below for our website, martelltraininggroup.com, you will see in there for in-person training, our partner companies, for additional in-person training, any type of uh, firearms related or safety, uh, security, first aid training that you desire, uh, please see the link and check out our website. I think that will help tremendously. Again, we appreciate our members. And as always, folks, thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe.